Nah. Yeah. Okay, me go now. So sub like deck, sure. I mean Pythos could be good. I guess I'll keep one though. One, two, three, sure. Turn two I'll be attacking as well and turn three will be my blocking turn so I can play this as a defensive unit as well. So that's not that bad of a ham, I guess. You could like play Omen Hog and I could just ping it. That wouldn't be that bad. Oh he wants this bird? Really? You run this bird out of Omen Hog? I think Omen Hog is way better because it actually gets to buff your units in your deck. This does not. It actually does the opposite, it buffs itself and deals on damage to the supporter unit. I'll just play this. There's no way he has two mana that can deal with not uh yeah, cannot deal with not in these three chips anyway. So this is always just one free portal. Maybe I top deck it, that'd be amazing. Then they would technically deny an open attack from him. Potentially. Come on, do it, do it, top deck, top deck. No. Well that's sad. He gets the push for five damage if he open attacks here. Developed by that, you just play another subtype. Play Death Hunter. You haven't attacked a cat yet, so that should be a pretty good play for you if you do that. Hmm, he actually played a subtype. Okay, so Camera Soldier here is insane. Because I get the free blocker and a free tree tree as well. So you could block you and then you just block the burn. And if he doesn't overtake, he doesn't get the benefit to level Nico, right? So he needs to try the least attack. Oh my god. Oh. I'll just deny this, right? Then he's forced to replay another portal to attack with this portal to actually help level Nico because this is actually a free sub -tack for him. I don't know why. Oh wait, no, wait. Sh crap, I'm so dumb. Because this would just reduce the portal in his hand. Oh my god, that's so dumb. I did not need a Pythos that. Because then he would have just still just played this portal, right? If he's smart. Yeah, I forgot that this actually discounts the sub -tack if you do not have already. Uh, you have a different sub -tack from the board, right? So since the portal is dead, he gets to discount the portal in his hand. So yeah, that might be a misplay. I actually raised the Pythos I guess, but I I did clear a unit, so you could say I actually technically used it. Oh, you didn't attack. I'm sure I can still ping it off then, that's good, pretty good news. But I think I'll just kill you first of all, so you won't actually discount. He can't play the Pycos 5-4 with Oweam that just draws another subtype if he has a subtype on board. He needs to play it next turn because the Pycos can't. He doesn't get a discount. I can pay 3-4 now actually, sure. Okay, I could pay 3 portal now, or I could just wait and just have a mana for vengeance for next turn. I think having mana for vengeance next turn is pretty good, so I can kill a bigger unit because he might develop. Sure, I don't really mind just taking 1 damage here as well, it's fine. Oh, camera soldier is pretty good, and a free unit to block, and another free unit to block. Okay, Nora is just turbo leveling here, it's 3 out of 6 already. Now, blocking Nora is possible but I think I'd rather just kill him right he doesn't get the Yoda subtype and uh, to help level Nico and he's just not getting a free poke he's like the cycle attack which well your Nico sucks at drawing cards anyway so this is really good oh he also hide all the tough equipment actually like buffs up the bird actually kind of cool for him do I block you I think I block you because you just revert back to a 2-2 two -two this uh afterwards right because this is only a this round effect so she'll be fine he needs to spend mana to re the equipment anyway Nico is 2 out of 6, okay. You have an attack with these 2 units, this might honestly just be Nico, to be honest, but we'll just have to wait and see. Pythos again, sure. I'll just play attack Nora here. Should be a pretty good play. I can play Viego in turn 5 by turn 7. It should be fine. And there's units on board by the way, so if they die, Viego will, uh, will just summon miss as well. 3 out of 6, okay. So this should be a pretty safe play to just play Viego here. I'm just kind of worried of a very nice. In my region, I do not have the nine. I do have puzzling disciples, but I do not run this deck because I think that card is, like, like useless. Because you better play cheap cards, right? Kinda don't want to play Viego. You know what? I'll just play Viego. I haven't actually gotten like a, a showcase of Viego anyway, so I might as well. Gotta hope he doesn't have very nice and it has stairs. If he does have that combo, then I basically lose. I mean, I do have an evasive hydrovine as another threat in hand, so that's not that bad. I still have two portals as well. So maybe I can hydro the good portal, that'd be great. Hmm, that's kinda annoying. But should be fine. I technically do this to buff up the ego even more. And my next miss, my next miss, I guess. Um, and pass here. That is another doggo, so that's not a different subtype than this doggo anyway. Also, he should have just equipped that unit onto this right, and this would technically be pushing even more OM damage, I guess. Hmm, he's attacking here. I think I'll just gladly block here. There's no rush, right? I don't mind taking 6 damage to face. I'd rather save Vengeance for something else, like an elusive Nico. He also summons the Mist for the Diego, right? Which is cool, and helping Nora fit as well. 
Do I? I don't think so. Nah, let's just do it. It's something I'm gonna miss. Hope Nora's fire at 6 basically. And I still have 2 balls in my deck, so next time if I top deck a quarter, Nora will just flip. That's fine. That is another sub side though. It's a phase, sure. Takes impact, that's fine by me. I could actually be Nico probably, because I don't think you actually run this card in the Nico deck. It's so bad. So another miss, and Nico flips here. Just top that portal, please. I'm quite ready for a new adventure. It'd be great if I just pop that like a seven drop. Oh, let's go. Let two portals is all combat hook. Sure, this is fun as well though. So I guess the attack with you, attack with you, attack with you. Diego could actually put it. Live. I guess I'll do the attack with you so I can kill bot space for you and another invasive fighter one. It's actually very tempting to lose attack with Diego as well. It's a freaking nine half unit, but I'm kind of worried that he might have fear of the north to buff this, so it would make a good trade against Diego. So I guess I play around that. Sure. This is a pretty good high roll. Comic Hook is not the best of a. It's potentially get uh getting a seven drop that is way better than Comic Hook, but at least it's still a unit that gives me an equipment. So it's still not that bad. It's fearsome as well, so pretty good. Okay, he blocks the Mariah Warden. That's fine. Hmm. Okay, he blocks like that and blocks like that. Sure, you're technically helping my ego level, my friend. Your small power dying equals the ego leveling up going quicker. I'm pretty sure he levels once round end because this, this miss will just die afterwards, right? Yeah, he will just flim. He's 19 out of 20 already. Sure. That's a free Viego level up. I'll gladly take it. They have one portal as well from the Nora hit, so maybe I could high roll another good unit. That'd be much appreciated. Hmm, he has that though. That is kinda concerning. Hmm. Viego will just flip and steal this though. No, we'll steal this. So I should be fine. I can just use this to block this anyway. Yeah, that should actually be fine. Um, I want to play this actually, but it's actually, it's actually denying me to get the mana gem. I guess so. Why not? Let's just have some fun. I can Pythos here as well. So if Pythos you and you give me a new spell, right? Maybe it would be a like a. Oh wow, this would be good. Uh, while I was attacking, so I can actually pull a unit, but sure, I guess. Like, give me like time trick. That's actually good. It'll just force him to discard the, this one, right? I'm pretty sure. And that's it, really. This is good though, wow. Okay. It's only for this round though, so it doesn't actually buff the unit. If it was grand, then that'd be amazing. Oh, I discarded the unit. That's great, actually. Sure. I guess I can just give it to Nora. It's only for this round anyway. Oh, if only with Toe Force, I can just like snipe something off. Um, I'm done with my fun. Oh, wait, no, I should have passed that, right? Because in the end, I, this will just give me the mana. Uh, scum. Yeah, I forgot this ability will just give me the spell mana and just deny me getting a mana gem, right? So I should not have passed with two mana. I should have at least played chunk. But it's still fine, right? It's still fine. We got another portal, let's go. Bird, let's go. I have no birds in my hand, but it's a it's a 5-4 with quick attack. Could be worse actually, so why not? If he very nice, he's actually very nice his own unit, which is cute. Wow he has two. Truly god gamer. What can I do against this? Probably just overwhelm, uh, bend your stat, right? Because that has 20 overwhelm, I can at least use this as a blocker. Oh, Guiding Touch is insanely good from this card, so I can heal my necklace a bit. Sure. You I am missing out on the miss, but I need to do that, right? So, that's fine. I can just block, block, block that. This does have impact, but this is the main threat anyway, having overwhelm, so at least this could just die here to his own toggle. So, go you, go you. Let me just heal and see what I can get. Oh nice, it's actually giving me a portal. Um, This is so fun. I guess for content, I guess I just kill Invisified Divine. Even though this is a misplay, I know, but I'm just doing it for the funsies. He could actually force fight this and preserve this. Oh, and that's okay. Okay, then these two trade, which is pretty good. And he has no OM unit now. So portal here. Oh wow, this is pretty good actually, but I can't play it just yet because it's 3 mana. I can remove like a vulnerable, but he has no cards to give vulnerable anyway, so sure. This does remove negative keywords. Does this remove frostbite? Is frostbite a keyword? I'm not quite sure. I think it only removes like camp lock and vulnerable, and that's it. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he's done. Like Diego flipping, Nora's away here, and the unit that gives me another spell. Why not? And I'm pretty sure that's a GG. I'll just steal him another one of his bigger unit. Hmm, Nasus, okay. So could be undying. Maybe? Hmm, might be a bit concerning. Alright, for Mulligan. So Harvish is not gonna be good in this match, I'm pretty sure. Might honestly just be aggro back maybe. 
like the you know just fearsome and stuff like that. We'll see though. But I'm most likely guessing this and die. Oh yeah, both of Helia, okay. He plays for second Bakai, most likely both of Helia. I'll pass here. Double draw, sure. I'll just resolve and just play junk here most likely. Sure. Just start shuffling my portals into my deck anyway. Pass. Pytos? No. I think I'll just play this then, so I can Pytos this unit. He doesn't play Vanguard though, which is interesting. Fading Icon. So I'm guessing this is Undying deck, huh? He's playing Fading Icon anyway. I'll pass here. I can fight Pytos that anyway in future turns. Nora is pretty good. The you know start applying pressure, but he's in shadow out, so gotta uh, hope that he doesn't have fate spike. Why does so hard? Though. Yeah, this is most likely just an undying deck. Guess I just play another one. You, you just block this and then Pythos the fight tree should be a pretty good play. Hmm. Okay. So, I do I want the portal in my deck? I guess so. so I guess I just block like this. I block like this, so I'll shuffle the portal and then this will just draw the. Oh. I mean, okay. He runs this card? Why? It's so bad. In a, in a predict deck, maybe it's really good at just predict you want to predict, but other than that, it's pretty bad. Oh wow, it's a zero tree. That's great. Um, pass. He might hide off this and he might just play Undying and then just do the same thing all over again. I can just attack like this, sure. He blocks the still fine. I mean, he gets back like Freeman. I guess he has Undying and that's why he's blocking. We'll see. Yeah, he does have Undying, so he's gonna do it again. I think I'll Glimpse be on you, instead of the 1-1, one, one, right? Do it now, no way. Um, I'll just do it now, I'll just Glimpse be on the miss, I guess. Slow, uh, slow Harvest and fight is slow speed anyway, so doing this should be a pretty safe play. He could have Hate Spike, but there's no way he's gonna Hate Spike for 4 right? Vengeance, Slow Harvest. Again, they're not that good, but sure. Vengeance is good though to deal with the Nasus, I guess. That's really it. 3-3. Three, three. Viego's here, so that's really good. So I just need to play Viego here, and if he dies, we can able to summon Viego, and that should be a pretty good play. Hmm, he's attacking. I guess I just use this to block this. I will be not winning a card, so this should be a pretty good set. Uh, play the gold glimpse beyond here. So kill that unit, and then this will just die. And draw the two cards, why not? I have triple vengeance, which is interesting. We can like here, okay. I will be burning a card, but since I have most of the card I already want, like... Oh, Nasus, okay. So it's pretty safe play to just play Go Vengeance here. He does have mana for Rhyming Gage He could go Rekindle Inter or something, Nasus, which is kind of concerning. So you gotta hope for the best. I'm also denying a turn for him to go for the equipment, right? So that's pretty good. I think I'll just go Nora, right? Because if he... He could have, like, a second Nasus, I guess. That would be annoying. I have no portals in my deck. I think I just play VC Fight Divine here. No, probably we'll just play Viego, right? Nah, I just Viego or VC Fight Divine. I think VC Fight Divine, so turn 8 I can still play Viego or Junk. Play these two cards together on turn 8. Should be, should be fine. Vengeance? Yeah, Vengeance. That's still fine because I am denying uh, Nasus play or we cannot play basically. I can attack like this and do the damage as well. Sure. He is gonna sneak in undying damage. This is really good in an undying deck because it gives him and the straw. I got so harvish that I guess. Since there's not really any good units of so harvish anyway, other than like small units, but this is a pretty good so harvish target. So I'm denying draw basically, sure. And I am passing back priority, so I can easily just see what he wants to play here and decide whether or not I want to venture some asses again. Or I can play Viego into Rekindler again. He ends round, I guess I play Viego. Let's see whether or not he has another vengeance. Oh we wow. He will unit if an ally died this round. That's is that is quite impressive that he actually runs this card. I can respect that. But that is kinda annoying. That's an 8-6 I need to deal with now. Hmm. Okay. Probably just Rekindler again. So I can just resummon the Viego. Hmm. Okay. That should still be fine. I can just pass here. I don't really mind. He's wasting 8 mana if he wants to go for that. Like a pass back. It, it is a 10-8, but Rekila can just block that. In Shadow House and Shurima, there's no card to give Overwhelm anyway, so that's just a fearsome target, and that's all. Quicksand, okay, so that's a pretty smart play, forcing me to block with Diego. 
I'm gonna try to vengeance, but I want to save vengeance for Nasus anyway, and that's still fine. I'm just trading a unit. I'm kind of worried that he gets to play the unit, the the ten cost unit itself, but I have vengeance again, so yeah. I think I'll just go for the blue up first ball. Not Nora, okay, sure. So four out of six because I did play Vizzy Fight Wine to summon the Crater card. And oh, that's smart actually. I will just resolve here. Um. He can't play this anymore, so I guess I just play Rekindler in Tenora. Nah, I'll probably not play Rekindler first because I might need to go for a Rumination play maybe. Because it's quite hard though, because then he gets a, this resummon undying in, at 5-5 five, five stat line. So we'll see. I'm playing Nora here, so maybe I can just go oh, Quietus. Okay, that's smart, I guess. Resolve here. I guess I maybe should have waited for Nora to play and then play Nora, right? Then he would be a, she would be a 2 3. Yeah, that was a miss by my mind part, I guess. I wanted to uh, play Nora. And, oh wow, the borders. Oh, my own undying. That's amazing, actually. Wow, sure. I wanted to play my own uh, Nora and then go Porto Blizzard with the other Nora and then open attack. That was the original play. Play Nora here? I have no borders in my deck anyway. Why should this attack, first of all? Because what if he just has the, his own this ruination and this ruination is my Nora? He's gonna play that, yep. He's gonna vengeance that because he's below right negation mana, so he won't be able to summon any units. And he doesn't get the equipment anymore because if you play the equipment as a Darkon, he doesn't get anything. Again, Rekindle here is really good. Um, yeah, I guess I go for it. Hopefully he doesn't have the third vengeance, right? Or he has a, he does have his own ruination, that'd be much appreciated. So Harvish, um, put Sniper for another doggo, so that's it, really. That's not that bad, I guess. Crumble. So do I vengeance here to protect Diego? That is a pretty tempting play, but the problem with that is that I have no removal cards for Nasus, though. I think I just let Diego die. He's controlling me quite well, not gonna lie. Um, pass it. I just open attack, that's a lot of damage. And this doesn't heal actually. I need to play Nora, and then this will just start to heal my Nexus, why not? So have it, sure, have it, sure. I could have actually went to Nora, so that's actually pretty good news that I thought so have it there. So he played two Quietus and one Soul Harvish, right? Should be safe to play Nora here, I'm guessing. By hook or by crook, I'll find you, dear cat. She's a 2 3 now. She doesn't like the Quietus, she does like the Haste title for next turn. Like he could Haste Quite Undying onto Nora then. Wow, double Soul Harvish. That's interesting. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 8 damage. I play Camelot Soldier, that should be leader. He only has one card left. Porta Blusa, so this is 8 damage. This will just be Lita. Yeah, let's just play this. I wanted to go for the Blusa because what if he somehow has another unit to play? Like, yeah, Nasus. But then I just Vengeance Nasus. No, wait, you could have. Nah, if he, if he somehow running Negation this, that's still fine. Then I go Pytos in the Ruination. So I could just pop the. Yeah, he's, he knows he's done. So I guess that's not a running Negation. It must be like a slow speed spell or something like that. So, oh, he could just be another Ruin Asia, but he didn't have mana to play it, so GG. Okay, Pimo, Caitlyn. Hmm, okay. Most people playing Pimo is just gonna go all in on Pimo, there's no reason to play Caitlyn anymore. But this is, this is pretty interesting. This I guess I should keep Quietus actually. He might just be playing a lot of elusive unit. Camera Soldier might be good because it summons a two uh, P blocker as well, sure. I'll keep quiet, double Quietus, I guess. Um, sure. I'll just pass here. He's always gonna save Prank when he has the... What's his name again? The... Puff Capella, right? So the... I'm just gonna wait until he goes for that. So Harvish would be good though to do that unit. I'll pass here. Hmm. Invasive Hydrovine, sure. He's always gonna play that one, right? Yep. There's nothing to do with it, sadly. I guess the play is just a little camera soldier here, at least to play something. Okay, oh my god, come on, of course. 8 mana, vengeance, sure. Hmm, oh, I know. With Kindler. I guess I'll attack. There's no way he blocks. He could block with Octopus though, and that's really it. Not oh, sure, I'll resolve. Hmm, clock lane. Okay, I can just quite just clock lane. Why not? 
So, oh wait, I think I need the vengeance this time. Sure, I think I have vengeance first of all. And I'll end around here. Oh wait, probably should have quietest this, right? That's actually too damage. Nah, just top the Pythos though, that easy. Okay. So I quite just you. I can Pythos actually gives with Teemo, right? Because Teemo's not yet flipped, so that's good news. So I don't need to save Pythos just for Teemo. Do I actually quite this stuff? This is annoying, but oh, okay. Could talk. I could Pythos, Pythos, and quite as that. That would work. I'll pass here though. I think I just be patient a bit to see. Go down. There's no rush really. That's Teemo. So now I Pythos. There's no way he flips Teemo here anyway. There's no way he has enough spells to actually flip Teemo with the Puff Capella itself. What could this be? There's no tool for spell that protects Teemo here in. Banner City build over. Hmm, Mystic so Shot. Okay. I guess I just flame spear on here to draw. So I maybe top there like a 2 drop so I can at least develop that and just block his other units. Ruination, yeah, okay. That's a pretty good unit. So I can oh wait. Crap, I played the fight the Pythos was here yeah, right. So I won't actually have time to play this. I guess I pause here. The Eagle? Nope. I can play this though, why not? It's a free portal, potentially a free unit, pretty good. Chump Warp is annoying, I'll play... Hmm... I'll play you. I can just end around here, right? Sure. It's a pretty safe play. Kill you? Okay, thank you. Uh, if it's not this all, that'd be pretty bad, that means one less blocker, so now this is still starting to be blocked, which is really good. Diego is also a pretty good top deck. I can play Diego and we can never just summon it. So attacking, sure. I'll just block these two and then I can just hide those Pedler. I don't think that's a smart idea. I think if he wants to attack, he should just attack Chop on that's really it. I'll just do it like this. So this will shuffle the portal and then draw. Hide also again, sure. I can just ping that and commit here. My pretty. Um, uh, sure, play Vigo here. Why not? I can play Evasive Hydrogen next turn, or if she dies, I can just play Rekindler next turn and just resummon a Nasus. Oh, uh, not Nasus, I'll resummon a Vigo. He doesn't play anything though, okay. Another Vigo, Colter. Ah, uh, he actually damaged the Vigo, sadly. Um, should we save the attack with you? If he blocks, that's fine, because the Vigo will just summon a miss. Yep, so he doesn't block. Still passing though, what is he doing? I'll just play Evasive Hydrogen here. So summon a miss and once run and this will die and Vigo summon another miss. Nora is 3 out of 6. And if this dies, summon a miss, this dies, summon a miss, Nora will be 5 out of 6. And if Vigo dies, I can play Rekin as well to resummon a crater card, basically. So that would actually turbo level Nora. Condemning my invasive fight line, interesting play. Teemo is flip, I kinda wanna save uh, page 3 and Pythos. For Teemo, right? There's, I don't think this is a, that much of a threat, honestly. It is free blockers, but I can easily remove that to the threat. There's no rush. That's just a, a tiny threat that I don't really mind at all, really. This one, okay, so that's really good. So, two miss, so Nora's 5 6, right? Yep, pretty good. Kaylin is flipped, though. No, wait, she, she, 3 out of 5. That is annoying. I need to kill that, actually. I could do this, but I am taking 4 damage to face, which I do not really like to take 4 damage to face. But I gotta go for it, right? That could be even more damage with all the traps I have in my deck. Just to play around it, I guess. Sure. Join the Good thing it went through. So now I guess I just pastry this one. He's gonna attack with a miss, that's fine. I can just block with my miss. And then Vigo will just summon another miss. So I can pastry you, so you won't generate a free blocker for you, basically. So then next turn, these two will summon more miss and Nora will actually flip. Do I actually play Nora here? I don't think so. I'll probably play her when she flips right so I can play around Mystic Shot. And this is itself is a pretty good attack, by the way. So another miss. And another miss. Because this will summon another miss. Yep. Oh, even better, I can go put the blues at first speed to summon even more block attackers. Uh, Invasiati, sure. So go you, go you. Go you, go you, go you. These two have spheres. Um, Charm is also gonna block this, right? And then this is gonna block one of the miss. This would just be Leader actually. No wait, almost Leader. 16, right? Then Page 3 will win. He needs to block one of the miss. If he doesn't block, then he's taking 6 damage. He always needs to block one of the miss. 
What does he have? Nemo? Oh, does he have like the triple spell that allows both players to draw cards? Then he just wins like that. What the hell? Double Mystic Shot and Pythos, the Invasive Pythos. Like. Don't think you want to use all of the spells to my units though. You want to use the Mystic Shots for my face, right? So actually, you're the game. And at 9 cap, if you double Mystic Shot, I would go on the 5. And if I top deck like 5 more pop I would have just died here. It's also helping Diego play, by the way. Honestly, if I were him, I would just use one of the this unit to block the the miss and then take the the evasive fire run damage. But I guess he sees that I have page three, so he would have just uh, died to page three, right? So I guess that makes sense. Just play normal here. I can easily just uh, steal that unit right with Diego anyway, so I don't really know why did he play that. Oh, page three, Nola. Why are you not pastrying my face, bro? You want to win as soon as possible, don't you? Why are you doing? Pass it. You're still not dealing with the main problem, my good sir, which is the freaking uh, Nexus health. But sure, I guess. Now I can shuffle puff. Uh, now I can shuffle flash bombs trapped in your deck. That's cute. There's no way it actually kills no right? right? Okay, thank you. So, do you actually have something to play here, my good sir? If you don't, I just win here, by the way. You actually had something to play here. Wow, I'm impressed, honestly. But I don't think that's enough at this point. Yeah. I don't think I'll just play Enrichet here. I don't want to play this, because if I play this, they'll clog on my board space and I won't be actually be able to get a portal from the Nora, right? It'll just go back to my hand. So I want the portal to be on board, potentially. Yeah, pass. This is gonna go back to them. The Eagle is gonna kill Caitlyn off because he's the strongest. Come there, Potter. Come on. Oh, half cap as well. Wow. No, 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 no. Okay, that scares me. I thought, I thought I because I top deck the Potter and then got into Living Library. I thought it would also be pop the draw, right? Then if I draw a card, I would actually potentially die the half caps. Maybe he has a. Okay, he doesn't. But we have like a three four spell that allows for players to draw, and that would be kind of scary. That is a lot of good damage with half cap. But it didn't happen, GG.